what we got. What do we got? I think it's salmon already. Oh, in the wave, in the wave, in the wave. Oh. What is this? Oh. No, it's not a salmon. Oh, I just got off, just got off. What was it? Oh, I didn't see it. All right, let's go again. Gonna set a burly bag out there. So I'm gonna throw all my scrap bits of fish from my last fishing trip. And then I've got some leftover pilchards in here that I was using for burly the other day. And I'm gonna throw them in too. So yeah, chuck all that in there. Mighty fine mixture. So that there can all go back in here. Star picket to the right. I mean not star pick it, just a big tent peg, but a star pick it would do it. And then I'll tie the extra bit to my bull bar just in case it comes loose so it doesn't all really walk away. Gonna go like this, nice and simple. Bam! Now, I can't lose my burly. Even if it gets pulled off. Uh, where's he at? There he is. You see him? Yeah. Yep, yep, he ate it. Oh, and he went back out. See that? <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Alright, here I didn't hook up. Maybe tighten the drag a bit. Come on. Oh, he came in so shallow for it. Come on. Ah, oh, and he's pissed off. Alright, I'm gonna send the bait out the back then. Okay, today we're down the beach doing something completely different to my usual but it is what every fisherman probably starts with. It's how I started a bit of beach fishing. And um, we're after some salmon. So the reason why I'm chatting to you guys right now is because coming up soon is salmon season and uh, the Salmon Slam competition is back for 2023. It's gonna kick off in March. So it's gonna run from March, April, I think it's just two months it's gonna run. It's free to enter. What you do is you catch a fish, you measure it on a brag mat or a tape measure and send it in the longest three fish I think it is wins. Details of all that will be in the video description just in case I have stuffed something up. So definitely check that out. Um, I'll show you something. There's actually some really good prizes. So I entered the first Salmon Slam that there was probably three, four years ago or something. I won this Saragossa 5000. I won a rod that came with it, not this rod. I won a um, Shimano Colt Sniper, which I used and caught some really good fish on. It was an amazing little combo, so really good prize. Gave the rod to my mate now because I'm using Ocean's Legacy stuff, but um, it's just a good chance to get down the beach, catch some fish, have a good time, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing this Arvo. Hopefully we get a few salmon. There's definitely herring around. I've already seen a salmon in shallow, which I hooked up and then lost and probably fishing tonight. Just just a good chilled out way to get out and um, experience the outdoors really. And it's the great thing about the salmon is as they come through, anyone can catch them and they're so much fun. I remember camping down the beach with the family and my little boy Ollie, it was a good couple of years ago now, so he must have only been like five or something at the time. Decides he grabs the little light outfit, puts a little bit of bait on the hook, wanders down to the beach, casts it in himself, and he just stands there waiting with the rod in the rod holder. And we're like, yeah, whatever, let him do his thing. A little while later, we see him whining and something happening, and he literally pulls in the salmon himself. It was hilarious. It was the greatest thing. Um, so, yeah, it's good that they, they come in so close, you can just catch them straight off the beach, nice and easy and safe. Don't have to go on the rocks. 
Um, hell of a lot easier to land them from the beach as well, heaps safer, much better way to go about it. Uh, I think we quite regularly have fatalities during salmon season on the rocks. So I uh, highly recommend do not go try and catch salmon off the rocks, just off the beach. Plenty of good beaches for it. They're expecting that they probably won't run as far up the coast as they sometimes do. Um, not likely to make it up to Mandra or Perth or anything like that. Probably Augusta and South is a much better bet. At the moment I'm actually in Esperance because it's before the salmon run. They'll start here and they'll start heading west. And um, so if you want to get into a, a couple of salmon, definitely enter the comp. Even if you don't catch fish, it doesn't matter. Hopefully you do. It's always nice to catch fish, but I know the pain of going on fishing trips and not getting anything or getting almost nothing that happens. But uh, it's always rewarding to get out there and experience the outdoors anyway. So anyway, I'm going to get stuck into some fishing. More details about the Salmon Slam 2023 is in the video description, so definitely check that out. If you're a West Aussie, this is for the West Aussies. Uh, nothing much has happened so far. I just found a shady spot to sit back and watch. I'm waiting for Dane. Reinforcements will arrive soon. I'm struggling to cast beyond the the sandbank. I just sort of just get it on the back edge of it. I wish I could cast a bit further. There's a gutter that runs to the side. I'm sort of trying to be on the side gutter and as far towards the back. Sort of out here on the side. About there. But there is a channel right in front of me. I could just go lop and just drop it in front of me. You never know. Could be a better move. Anyway, old mate will show up around the corner soon. Yeah, right down near the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go down there. Yeah, well, uh, Five onto it as well. Yeah, I'll just make it back up to it. Nothing? No, I haven't. We're just going to send the drone out and go down the beach, have a suss of some of the gutters. We probably will stay here, but if anything looks really good, we will head down the beach. Cheating, you know, sending the drone out. I've been trying my hardest to get the big surf rod to cast out behind the sandbar, behind the waves, and I just can't quite make it, get so close. Dane is going to rig up a bait rig and chuck it in the gutter right in front, and I almost guarantee he will catch more fish. I'll probably end up doing that as well soon. Hopefully we can barely in, get a few gummy sharks in here tonight. And maybe the elusive salmon will show up too, you never know. Little update on the fishing. No salmon. <laughs> what we call like a herring or two Couple each. Of Couple of hazards on lures and nothing on bait. 
Um, so what's for dinner? Baked beans and sausages. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so if they'll do. Cook, no, we could cook like, some hezes if we really wanted we could to. Go but like a couple of abs and something as well. We, we could buy head torch. That'll be really exciting. Yeah. yeah. Around the other side, I imagine. Now, probably not going to go try out here. I might end up being on on the news if I try in there tonight. <laughs> oh, waves are coming up. Imagine if one just decides to wash all the way up. Oh, That'd suck. Straight into my chair. Straight into your the chair. New chair. <laughs> up the beach. Yep. Anyway. I thought I'd give you a quick little. <coughs> Hang on a second. Oh, quick little update on the uh, situation so far, and it is just too dark, so I'm gonna have to blind myself a bit. There we go. Quick little update. We got snaggers. That's what. That's all we caught. Sausage fish. Sausage fish, we'll call them. But quite, quite a nice variety of sausage fish. These ones. So that's dinner tonight. And. Um, we still haven't really caught anything. We've had a few bites. I don't know why I did that with my fingers. That was hot. Uh, quick little update. We caught something. <laughs> Can you see that? I'm going to catch myself soon if I'm not careful. Sand crab. I'm going to end up with sand all over our sausages <laughs> too if I'm not careful as well. Anyway, that's about as exciting as it gets at the moment. We have a fish, maybe. Still there? Let's see, what do we got? It's the most exciting part of the night. Feels a bit like a flatty. That'll be all right. I'll take a flatty. Is it? Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, oh no. Oh no, even What worse. the heck? Oh, oh it's worse. Um, it's a storm perch, I think you call them, eh? Trumpeter or something? Yeah, it's like a type of trumpeter. I've heard of them called storm perch. Oh. Anyway, new species for you, and uh, released probably. Send him straight <laughs> back out. We don't want him. That's a, that's a big one of them. Like. It is, eh? I'm pretty yeah. sure it's called, a, I've heard of them called a storm perch, but it's like a type of trumpeter. Yeah. Sea trumpeter, whatever it is. Yeah, so Giddo. I'm on this thing, this is a massive run, up so much line, and it doesn't seem to be a ray. Oh. Doesn't sound like a ray anyway, it doesn't have those... <laughs> oh yes! I don't have wire trace off the shark. Who knows? How's it? Is spools pretty, still pretty empty? He's uh, not gone no, left or right. He's gone straight out, which he's is good. Straight out, took some big runs, and now he's coming back in. I'm actually making decent headway on him. Yeah. Could be a gummy. They give up. It's a big gummy. Could be a huge gummy. Yeah, that would be amazing. I probably would release it. It's a big one, yeah. Do you have a gaff or anything? I've got my very big pole gaff in the car and the net. If you want to get that sorted, just put yeah. that on there. Yep. Then... Yeah, I'll come back here so you guys can see a bit more of the action. Not far, eh? Not far? I reckon I felt a, either a flap or a tail whack. I felt two of them so far now. Oh, he'll be on this side of the sandbar, I reckon. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> Sick. There we go, we finally got a fish. Nice big gummy shark. And uh, gonna let it go. 
Drop off at a measure or just take... Oh, I don't know where to take measures. Whatever. Let's go. Sick. Sweet. All right, we'll stand it back. Just bring the good camera, right? Yeah. Get him back, get another. Why not? That's a... I reckon, yeah, 12 kilo. He's pretty big, eh? Yeah. Give him a swim, see if he's... Try not to drop the camera in the water. Yeah, don't get the camera to work. Oh, there's fish jumping there, kiddo. Huh? There's fish jumping in the water. He's off. He's straight off. He's good. Sick. Yeah. Stokes, Stokes, we got a fish. Finally. Dano's on to trumpet a number, number, <laughs> number two for the night. What do we got? What do we got? What the heck is that? It is number two. It is two. Trumpet a number two. <laughs> Let's have a look at him. I forget what they're called, but anyway, have fun with that. Don't be trumpet at number three. Let's be a flathead this time, why don't we? It's a trumpet. I can feel it. Yay! Even smaller one. Prize Love catch, it. right there. Prize catch. Prize. I'll leave you to your prize catch. <laughs> I'm going back over here. The elusive salmon still eludes us. <laughs> How's that, Dano? The elusive salmon, eh? We'll go on the hunt for one, eh? Mine's way out the back somewhere. Probably on the sandbar. Swell's cranking, making it very hard to get out of the back, just like yesterday. Dano's got his rod. Somewhere in here. I don't know, we'll probably just hang around for another hour or two and then we might go somewhere else. Don't know. We have decided we're going to leave the beach. We've got a car here trying to get out. And we're going to go to another little spot and try catch something else. Don't know. Probably not salmon. Maybe just um, some whiting or herring or something. go jump in have a quick swim and then we're gonna drive out of here so thanks for watching no salmon I might go try somewhere else Bisavo um, I might not I'm not sure but enjoyed myself down here anyway getting out for an explore catching a few fish see you on the next one <laughs>